A dangerous flu strain has hit parts of the U.S. Midwest and the virus is targeting dogs. Hundreds of animals have fallen ill and six have died. Experts blame the epidemic on a virus called H3N2. It was first seen in Asia. And as Jackson Prosco reports, there is no vaccine for it. <laughs> That sound has pet owners across America worried. When he got it, it was literally like he would wake up to go to the bathroom, eat, and then he would go back to bed. But he's okay now. An outbreak, some call it an epidemic of canine infectious respiratory disease or dog flu. We were finding that the numbers of dogs was far more than we normally see and the severity of the disease was much worse. The new H3N2 strain has never been seen in the U.S. It was somehow imported from Asia. In Illinois, more than 1,100 dogs have fallen ill, six have died, and now cases of dog flu are being reported in several neighboring states. The first signs are a persistent cough and lethargy, not all that different from what humans experience with the flu. It's usually a dry, hacking cough, like a, uh, uh, ah, kind of trying to clear the throat at the end. The virus likely spreads through nose-to-nose -nose contact. What's worrisome is that North American dogs are especially vulnerable and there's no vaccine for the strain. Our dog population here is what we call naive. They've never seen anything like this before, so their immune system isn't primed and ready to fight it. Lulu is one dog now in isolation. She fell ill after her first ever trip to doggy daycare. Coming in and finding out that she has that, and then pneumonia on top of it, I mean, it's a pretty big shock. Now, as a precaution, dog owners in the Midwest U.S. are being told to keep their pets out of the park and away from kennels. At Chicago's Bark Bark Club, they've shut down to sanitize. It's an epidemic, and you got to do the right thing. Uh, and you, ha you have to shut down and take care of your clients. While the dog flu is no threat to humans, we can spread it to other dogs if a sick animal comes into contact with our hands or clothing. The worry is how far the virus may spread in animals ill-equipped to ward it off. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Washington.